my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today we're going to take a look at the OrCam MyEye 2, which are wearable glasses that allow you to be able to um, read printed text. And so we're going to take a look at that today. Hi, I am Greg Blackman with I Can See, and I'm here today to talk to you about the OrCam, spelled O-R-C-A-M. The OrCam is a device that mounts to glasses frames. Um, it comes with a set of frames where you can mount it to your own frames. And what it does is it reads out loud to you. Uh, the primary function of the OrCam is to read printed material material out loud to you. It's not designed to be a magnifier of any sort. It doesn't do anything visually in terms of magnification or anything like this. This is purely an audio device, purely an OCR or text-to-speech device uh, that does a lot of other functions as well, which I will get into. Um, but like I said, it comes with a set of frames just like this, and you can put this on your own set of frames if you want and it has a mount right here. The mount comes on the right side of the set of frames, but you could put that mount on the left side if you prefer, and again, you can put it to your own set of glasses, or it comes with additional mounts, so you could have this mount on multiple frames at a time. You could have this on this set, you could have it on a set of your prescription glasses, and maybe on a set of sunglasses, however you prefer. But on that mount, there are two little circular magnet magnets, and basically, the camera has two little circular magnets too and sticks right to it. So now you have a camera that sticks and is mounted to your glasses frame that you can then obviously put on and wear. The camera itself is wired to a base unit and the base unit has a few buttons. On one side you have a power button that powers it up and you have a toggle button that um, can increase and decrease the volume and it can also help navigate the menu when you get into the menu as well. Um, the other side, you have a trigger button, which the trigger initiates reading. So at any point, any time you um, are facing um, any text, or at any point that you hit the trigger button, it's going to read whatever's in front of you. Okay. So if you have text in front of you, if you have um, products or people that are programmed into this, it will announce them as well. And I'll get into that shortly. It also has um, ports here to charge it. Um, you can charge this. To regular wall charger so you can just plug this into a wall but also has a USB charger as well so you can plug this into your computer or any other USB charger uh, that you may have as well so you have multiple ways that you can charge this it has a nice battery life you charge it up and you're ready to go essentially um, like I said the primary function of the OrCam is reading uh, there are three different versions of the of the OrCam there's the my reader the My Eye 1.5, which is what I have here in front of me and in my hand, and then the My Eye 2.0, which I'll get into shortly. The My Reader, it essentially just does reading. So it does all of the reading, but that is where its functionality stops. The My Eye, which is really um, the most common and the most popular device, it does a lot of other things as well, like facial recognition. You can program in people um, in their faces into this yourself, and you record that. You record it with your own voice and you can name however you want. John, Sally, Mom, Dad, however you want. That will be then spoken back to you. So every time you look at that individual in your own voice, it will say Mom, Dad, however you label them. Every time you look at them and you can increase and decrease the frequency with which um, it announces that person's name. You know, you can have it say it every 30 seconds, but if you're around that person a lot, you don't want it saying John, John. John all day. You can increase it so it says it every five minutes or whatnot. You can even increase it past that. Um, it does product recognition as well. So imagine if you have three or four different products in your house or at the store, wherever you're going, that are the exact same size and shape can or box or whatever the shape may be. This will help you identify different products. There's a couple different ways that you can identify them. You can program those in just like you did people. So you can program in certain products so we'll say it in your own voice. You can, of course, have the OrCam read the text on the outside of the packaging, which is another great solution. Or um, there are hundreds of thousands of UPC codes actually already stored in the OrCam. Um, so you can look at the UPC code, and if it's a, a fairly common UPC, it will actually announce the product out loud as well. So there's a few different ways that you can have it announce products. Um, this also has a money identifier, a currency identifier. So if you have cash, this will identify what denomination of cash you have. Have. This has a color identifier as well, so if you want to identify colors, you can do that. 
It has a couple different gestures. It has a watch gesture. So if you look at your wrist, either wrist at any time, it will announce the time of day and the date. Um, and it also has a finger gesture that can initiate reading. Um, as I mentioned, um, you can hit the trigger button and it will start reading. But if you want to read something a little more specifically, you can actually use your finger gesture. And a quick example, if I was looking at this piece of paper here and I hit the trigger button, it would take a picture of the entire document here and it would start on the left and read this and then move to the right and read all the way down, which is great. But if you just want to have this paragraph read, you can use your finger gesture and point right under it and it actually catches the back of your cuticle. You point right under it, it takes a picture of it, you move it away and it will start reading right there, right where you point it. So if you want to be very specific where you start to read, you can certainly do that or if you want to have it read all of it, you can do that as well. There's a couple different ways you can initiate the reading. But that is, again, this is the MyReader 1.5, which, which is really the most common one. This is, uh, has all of the functionality and is wired. Uh, there is, though, a new wireless version. If, if you are someone that likes all the features of the OrCam and feels like it would work for you, but you want a wireless device, uh, the MyI 2.0 has now been released, and this would be the one for you. Um, with this, the entire OrCam itself is on the frames of the glasses. This is the entire this is the entire device. So it mounts to the frames in the exact same way as the, the other OrCam does. The camera itself is a little bit larger and slightly heavier, not that much. Still pretty small, very small. And with this, you initiate the reading. Of course, you don't have a base unit with any buttons, so you initiate the reading with all of the gestures like you did with the last one. You can use your finger gestures. But this one also has a touch bar on it on the side, okay? There's a little touch bar here on the side, and with this bar, if you tap it, it's like the trigger button, it will start reading. If you tap it again, it'll pause. And a couple other cool features, if you just move forward, swipe forward on that bar, it will fast forward, and if you swipe back, it will actually rewind. Um, and then all of the functionality, accessing the menu, all of those are, are in here as well. Um, but this has all of the functionality of uh, the MyEye in a wireless device that is all connected here as well. Um, I should have mentioned that um, if there's any updates that come out, this just updates. Um, you can connect this to the Wi-Fi and you can uh, download the updates right to the device. It's very simple. Uh, with the other uh, OrCam, you get those sent in an SD card as well. So you can just take that. You can pop off the bottom right here, pop out the old SD card, put the new one in, and you've updated the device. So as new improvements are made to the OrCam and updates and as they add more UPC codes over time, you get those with the device. You get three updates um, with every new device. Um, they're just different the way that you, you get them. So again, with the OrCam, you have the My Reader, you've got the MyEye 1.5, which is wired, and now you've got the new MyEye 2.0, all by OrCam. My name is Greg Blackman, and thank you for your time. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.